<laughs> Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today I am back with a new modded weapon and uh, this one is called the Dalek. Uh, really not been looking forward to reviewing this for the pure fact that I completely and utterly hate the Daleks. Uh, I always have done since I was a kid. Um, evil, evil things and uh, yeah I'm going to have to bear with this one today. Every time I say the name I just want to uh, curl up into a ball or run away. Um, no, it's really not that bad, but uh, yeah, Daleks evil. So uh, this gun is now based on uh, the Daleks from Doctor Who. It's brought to you by ZMA uh, Mods, who uh, did a previous one on the, uh, I believe it was the, uh, the Suntor, Suntoran. Um, so he uh, likes his Doctor Who themed weapons. This is the second one that we're going to be reviewing. Uh, the Dalek, which is the master race uh, of Doctor Who. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool gun actually, really enjoyed using this one, very uh, handy as it uh, not only slags enemies, it also fires all sorts of uh, other elements of them as well. Pretty powerful weapon really, but uh, very good for overpower rate, any weapon that slags as well as uh, damages quite well, it's pretty handy. So uh, this one is uh, definitely one of those ones. So, as always, we'll start off this modded weapon guide by showing you guys exactly where to get it. So you can add uh, either head over to the Borderlands 2 Community GitHub or click in the link in the description of this video which will take you straight there. If you're on the Community GitHub, click on Borderlands 2 Mods and then head down to ZMA section which is right here and uh, then click on the Dalek. As you can see there, there's four of the Doctor Who themed weapons. Uh, we're going for the Dalek today. That'll bring you up on the weapons information page which will tell you everything you need to know. All you've got to do is click on the raw tab, right click and save as uh, into your Borderlands 2 um, binaries folder and then execute it in game using the console commands and that will change uh, the beaker the becker however you want to pronounce that uh, into the dalek uh, and as you can see this weapon is uh, burst fire when zoomed with uh, three projectiles coming out or it just hip fires automatically uh, one single bullet at a time uh, pretty good weapon like i said uh, this is what the uh, actual card looks like a little bit broken at the bottom there there's a massive amount of space on the weapons card and that could do with probably tucking in a little bit but again i don't know how to do anything like that so i can't comment on things lots of colors in there but uh, it tells you everything you need to know we'll run through that in a minute but uh, the weapon itself looks pretty cool like the uh, the purple and pink and black skin looks pretty uh, awesome actually much better than the uh, beaker which i never really thought is a nice weapon anyway so this one's definitely an improvement on that so we're going to carry on running through lynchwood where we left off from the beginning of the video and just go around and take out uh, all the enemies in this area there's a lot of enemies in lynchwood and uh, i thought this was a good testing ground to just go around and slay all of them uh, now the best way to use this weapon is just to purely aim down the sights and just burst fire uh, the hell out of it but I wanted to use uh, both um, features of either aiming down the sights or the hip firing as well which isn't quite as powerful but for the pure sake of testing this weapon out um, there will be a couple of instances where I do hip fire away when I could probably could have killed an enemy much quicker by just uh, sitting here aiming like that uh, but yeah you've got to use different play styles and uh, just try the weapon out on every level so that's why I'll do that so anyway, like I said, this replaces the Becker. Uh, it will actually change the Hornet, Florentine, Tinderbox and Twister uh, when this weapon mod is activated. So try to avoid them weapons because they might be quite broken. Um, it tells you to read the recommendation before you install this mod. Um, we'll go through that in a second. So this weapon has all elements um, available to damage. 25% uh, movement speed, 200% melee damage, unlisted projectiles, um, and hello B. Yes, I'm not using the B. Do not worry, guys. But uh, yeah, he says uh, use the B. He recommends that, so I should have used the B there. If the uh, modders recommended it, um, I should be allowed to use it. But no, I'm not allowed to use a B anymore. Um, these shots will always pierce um, through enemies. Try to balance it for a long time, so it's looking for suggestions. So if you do think this is too overpowered or underpowered, whatever you think, um, be sure to let him know as well. Personally, I think this thing is pretty well balanced, but um, it's quite deceiving in this uh, watching me kill because you'll actually think, oh, you know, look at that, it's taking enemies straight down, stuff like that. It all The only reason for this, like I said, it's a bit of a trick in the eyes, is because this weapon will slag instantly. Um, 
unlike other weapons where you'll see that if you don't slag an enemy up you won't get the kills very quickly so you've got to chuck a mid magic missile or have you know an antagonist slag an enemy up but then most weapons once an enemy's got a slag on them will take them down pretty easily you know these guys aren't ultimate badasses or uh, super badasses or bosses they aren't just normal guys that you can mob with um, so any weapon will do the same so I don't personally think it's uh, overpowered at all but again uh, welcome to uh, put in the comments below what you think so the recommendations are to spawn this thing in a non-elemental version um, and to get a bayonet on it as well for the 200% melee burst so uh, if you're going to give this put yourself a bayonet on it and get a non-elemental version he also recommends putting Tor Grip, a Dahl Stock and a Jacob Sight. The reason why he wants a Jacob Sight on it is because it looks like a Dalek's eye when you're scoping into it, which uh, I think is good that he's thought of uh, that, just to uh, give you a bit more feeling of the Doctor Who theme on it. Uh, it's provided a Gibbs link code in the uh, GitHub section, so you can just paste that straight in and you don't have to change anything then, it will give you the... Uh, the recommended parts uh, and then there's a uh, screenshot and a stats screenshot as well so you can see everything you need to know on the page see that's the good thing about these github pages they tell you all the information you need to know you don't just have to look at weapon cards and try and work things out uh, all the information is in there so there you go that is all the information you need to know about this weapon and uh, yeah like i said tearing through um, this pretty well it's a very fast paced weapon i do like the fact that you can run around with it very quickly and just uh, go to town on enemies might be uh, quite interesting to see what this is like against bosses I might take it to uh, some slightly smaller bosses like Mad Mike or Bad Moor you know not too powerful but just to see what this is like and test the power out on it but for general mobbing I think it's a pretty good weapon and uh, I had a hell of a lot of fun using it I just tried not to think about Daleks too much because I want to sleep tonight yes I'm 28 years old and Daleks still scare me <laughs> no <laughs> well they did as a child a lot anyway thank you guys for watching really hope you enjoyed another weapon uh, guide here on Borderlands 2 that was the Dalek the master races domination gun from Doctor Who made by ZMA thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one